Brock Purdy continues to impress the 49ers and all the fans watching around the world. I'm going to break this down for you to explain why this is good news, but it's also a big problem and a concern for the 49ers right now. But it's like he's trying to run a one-man band out there. Behind his seat. And he's coming. Okay, I like, I like this is a make or season for you. He's got to make an impact. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. If it's your first time watching, please like and subscribe. I got the button right on the screen. Subscribe right now if you like sports and highlights. But let's talk about the main event, the main topic in sports if you're watching the NFL, and that is Brock Purdy. This guy shows up, Mr. Irrelevant, the last pick in the draft. Everyone's like, well, you know, we'll see how he does. He's the last pick, and a lot of people would rather prefer to be a free agent because you could pick your own destiny, go where you want to go, make things happen. But let me tell you something, Brock Purdy's done that. He's drafted by the 49ers, the last pick in the draft. And as you know, they had Trey Lance, one of the best quarterbacks to pick up. $34, $35 million gets hurt. Guy's amazing, but he's hurt. Jimmy G steps in the game. He gets hurt. And now Brock Purdy is starting to shine. He's got his family in the stands. He's got his friends in the stands. And all the fans watching are chanting his name, Purdy, Purdy in the stands. They want Brock Purdy to play football, and now he's shining. He's 2-0, okay? Let me tell you where the problem comes in, because everyone's like, the success, it's all great. San Francisco's happy. The team's happy. The camaraderie's there. They're rooting him on. It's like the movie Rudy. They're watching this guy get it done, and they're proud of him. They're happy, and they're excited. Here's the problem. Trey Lance is making $34 plus million dollars on a contract. He's not going to sit on the bench, right? He's not going to sit on the bench. Jimmy G, on the other hand, he was up in the air. You know, we're going to trade him. We're going to keep him. So that's one thing. That's understandable. But when someone like Brock Purdy rides this season out, because they're not going to bench him now, the fans, the family, everyone watching him, the team, they're not going to want him on the bench. Jimmy G is going to be in a corner. Jimmy G is not going to have the opportunity to start again unless something happens to Brock Purdy. Jimmy G is not coming back in the game. You, you mark my word on that. He's not coming back in the game. Which means Brock Purdy has more of an opportunity to play the whole season because Trey Lance is out until next year. If Brock Purdy continues to win football games, he's 2-0. He beat Tom Brady. They don't have the best team this year, the best season. But let me tell you something. They're still a hard team to beat. When you go into Tampa or they come to you, it's still hard to beat. Tom Brady's still a legend, still a GOAT. He beat him. Then he went out to Seattle. Brock Purdy went to Seattle. They said, here's a test for you. Let's go out there and beat Geno Smith out in Seattle. It's crazy out there. It's loud. Test number two. Succeeded again. 2-0. So we're not talking a quarterback who's 5-0, 10-0, who's leading the playoffs in a Super Bowl right now. But we are saying this. The 49ers are going to the playoffs. Brock Purdy's going to have his chance to shine. If he shines in the playoffs, and let, let me tell you something, if he gets to the Super Bowl, they even have a bigger problem. The 49ers will be happy if they win. Any team's happy. Any franchise is happy. But next season... Brock Purdy will not be on this football team because Trey Lance is going to come back in again. One of the best guys in the draft showed up, most talented, can run, he's got speed, he can throw. We can't forget who this guy is. He's hurt. That gives Brock Purdy a chance to play football. A lot of people are like, well, you know, you get a backup in the game. We're not expecting to win. This is Mr. Irrelevant. This is your third string quarterback. This isn't your second string. This is your third string quarterback. And let me break this down. Everyone said, oh, you know, we need a backup. They're not that good. This is for something everyone to see. If you're a quarterback watch, you're not playing yet, you're a backup, you need to see this. When your time comes, and it happens quick in the NFL, whether you're running back, receiver, quarterback, people are getting hurt and traded more than ever. And this is why Brock Purdy has a chance. So the biggest problem is, at the end of this season, you got three quarterbacks. You got Trey Lance, you got Jimmy G, and you got Brock Purdy. And I'm not putting him in any order right now. I'm just giving the example. Those three quarterbacks are all going to be on your roster at the end of the season. Come into next year, the 49ers are going to have a big conversation at the end of the season because Brock Purdy is not sitting back now. You can't take this guy from the fans and say, no, we're not going to play him. They're going to be chanting his name in the stands all season, especially if this guy ends up doing well. And listen, if they win a Super Bowl this year, the fans are not going to want to get rid of him. So what happens? A big problem comes up for the 49ers. What are we going to do? We're not going to get rid of Trey Lance. 
So Jimmy G's going to be out the window somewhere. Jimmy G's going somewhere. You mark my word. Jimmy G's going to another team, and Brock Purdy's the backup quarterback next season, and he's not going to want to be a backup quarterback next season. So what happens is you're going to have a big problem in San Francisco, and at this day, it's a good problem to have, but Brock Purdy, if he does well this season, will be out looking for another job starting for another franchise. Hey, guys, thanks for watching and tuning into the Brandon Mason Show. Please remember to like and subscribe. Until next time.